Yo, what is going on guys? My name is The Friendly Machine and today guys I've got you another episode of how to get a nuclear medal in every single map and of course Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I mean what other game are we going to be playing right? So anyways today I've got you guys episode number four of the series meaning number four because I don't know switch over languages because every episode we're going this is number two, number three so why not you know. I don't even know what language that was from, but anyways, today we're going to be looking at the map Hunted, and if you're new to the series, what I like to do in this series for you guys, not to you guys, because that would be kind of naughty, eh? But anyways, like I was going to say before the pun crept up, I was going to say that what I like to do for you guys in this series is basically minimalise the easiness of me getting a nuclear, so I'll always play solo, whether it be free for all the team deathmatch, and the reason for that being, I mean, I don't want any objective in it. We want the raw map, the raw playstyle of the map. Not anything in any place where it might cause enemies to particularly spawn there. It's all down to you and your teammates doing on where the people spawn. Or if you're in free-for-all, then it's down to everybody's placement on the map, I guess. And the reason for me playing solo is just down to the fact that I know getting a nuclear in a six-man party is a lot easier. And even in like a three-man, a two-man, or even if you just got one teammate... To actually help you out in gunfights where you don't want to challenge, you want to back off and then they might be able to clear out enemies. Or you might have that one more person to get the haters or you might have to get six people in the party with a six man to get haters and cycle them. So that's not really controlling the flow of the map and learning the nitty gritty parts of where you actually could go to be more successful. And what parts of this map are really really good to go to in terms of power positions. But anyways, in the background you guys will be thinking well you're not minimalising the easiness by using the KM44 because if you guys didn't know this is the god gun right now it's a really good gun it got buffed recently and here is the class setup on screen I use this most episodes so here it is on the screen for you guys who are wondering in the form of a card I mean I don't need to mention that because you guys can clearly see the perks and the attachments and the gun itself and then my little kind of JVI that's kind of nice but the gun's kind of blown out in the water now and that's the main thing for getting a nuclear because you want to be using a relatively good gun if you're playing a map that you're not so comfortable with which I'm guessing is the reason you clicked on this video in the first place how to get a nuclear on hunted it might be a tricky map for you and the first thing I want to say about hunted is well is the graphics kind of changed so with the graphics changing I'm always looking at things thinking wow that looks like PS3 graphics because I'm a PS4 player myself and that kind of went off topic for what I wanted to say but the gun itself you want to be using one that's good at all ranges because bearing in mind there are short term engagements short range engagements or whatever you want to refer to it as and you can also get long shots on this map this is one of the maps where I get most of my long shots for my camo challenges so you want to be using a gun like the HVK the Man of War the KM44 and if you're really comfortable with an SMG like the Cuda, the Pharaoh or the Razorback, they are very good in terms of their accuracy and their range, so go for it with those only though if you're more comfortable than the average player with using guns where you can actually get in really, really long gunfight engagements and you can still manoeuvre around the map to actually win them gunfights because you've got good gun skill and you've got general good movement on this game because the movement is another key thing about this map. There's a lot of war run spots that are really successful. You saw one at the start right there. And this map in itself, I want to say, getting onto the map now, is one where it's dominated by actually power positions. Now, power positions are basically anything from head glitches to height advantages to even, I don't even freaking know, like jump spots where you can jump up and you can shoot a few bullets, land them in your enemy and kill them. You'll see all of these throughout the gameplay in the background. Whether you actually spot these, I don't know, but I know they're all in there somewhere. Whether I get a kill or not, I'm still implementing these features. So, Hunted in itself, it's a really, really strange map to be honest. This nuclear is a lot slower than the other nuclears in this series and I'm going to put that down to the reason of the fact this map it's really diverse in terms of the spawns flipping especially if you're not playing an objective based game mode besides getting the kills I mean like free for all or TDM like I'm in the gameplay in the background but still your teammates can always flip spawns and to be honest you need to be cautious because there's so many routes there's always like two angles to a situation so you gotta you gotta kind of cover your own ass at the same time and then obviously look forward and see what's happening because there's always two routes it seems like that like round this rock for example that I'm at right now where I just got the brutal you could misjudge that and I do when I get the nuclear medal so you always need to kind of I'm not saying don't challenge like at all but like you really want to be cautious when you challenge and I definitely recommend and getting your hater and everything and rushing at the start of the game because you don't know exactly how it's going to turn out at the start of the game so you want to be rushing to try and get your score streaks quicker especially if you're playing team deathmatch or free for all because you're going to need to get the kills to win in the first place and the time's going to be ticking in terms of the time in the game and the kills left in the game because you won't be obviously able to get all of the kills in the game say if you're on like I don't know 50 kills in and you join the game the chances are nuclear ain't happening so what you want to be doing at the start of the game is trying to make your mark as quick as possible that's why I use combat focus 
And I don't really need to save the score streaks. Do I need to save the score streaks right now, guys? So UAV, counter UAV, and hater. And if you don't like the counter UAV or you just don't want to use it, then use the power core because that slows down the enemy movement. And there is the nuclear right here. And I want you guys to pay attention to this death right here. I misjudge a situation and I kind of challenge too much. I get too confident after the nuclear because I know I've got it. I can make my episode of how to get a nuclear on every map now, right? So what I do right here is I misjudge a situation and this is what you want to kind of... I don't know, analyse about maps, especially Hunted, because there's so many decisions you have to make, so many power positions, and what you want to be doing, like I didn't do there, is taking advantage of a head glitch, I could have crouched, took advantage of a head glitch, and what you want to be doing to maintain power positions around the map is moving up from head glitch to head glitch, once you are sure you've secured that position and everywhere behind you, and then you can move up, to the next spot and then when the spawns are flipped flank around and then you get the gist of the map it's a lot of flanking and it's a lot of smart play it's kind of like chess in a sense or a game that acquires a lot of intelligence to actually play hunted's one of them maps and i'm guessing that's why it's called hunted because hunting hunting prey it's it's whoever it's the survival of the fittest really on this i mean if you're an absolute machine like i'm friendly machine then you're just going to do well on the map, joking. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love all your faces. Slap a like down on the video down below if you enjoyed today's video. And let me know what maps you're struggling on. I'm always keen to know what you guys want to see next. And that's all for today's video. Thank you all for watching again. I love all your faces. As usual, peace out.